database and database management systems, database normalization. Database normalization is the process of decomposing relations with anomalies to produce smaller, well-structured relations. The goals of normalization are the following. One, to minimize data redundancy, thereby avoiding anomalies and conserving storage space to make the maintenance of data easier and to provide better design that is an improved representation of the real world and a stronger basis for future growth. The steps of database normalization rely on the state of relation. These are rules to satisfy the relationship between attributes or functional dependencies. It is also known as the normal form. In the first normal form, any multi-valued attribute has been removed. So there is a single value at the intersection of each row and column of the table. The second normal form is any partial functional dependencies have been removed. The third normal form makes the developer remove any transitive dependencies. Voice CAD normal form can be achieved by removing the remaining anomalies that results from functional dependencies. In the fourth normal form, any multi-value dependencies have been removed. And the last or fifth normal form removes remaining anomalies. Not all of these normal forms are being used or achieved in the current database development practices. Database nowadays only achieve the third normal form. The reason for this is because while trying to achieve the higher step of normal form, the number of tables in the database increases. As the number of table increases, the performance of the queries to the database becomes slower because of too many associations or joins. So in our case, what we will do is just put our database into the third normal form. The normal form in action. The database is in first normal form if all the single records attributes are singular. That is, each attribute has only one value. This is not in first normal form because ticket number is a multi valued attribute. If we will fix this, it will look like this. In this second figure, all ticket numbers have a respective record. And because of that, this fix the first normal form. The database is in second normal form if and only if it is in first normal form and all the attribute in each record depend entirely on the record's primary key. Let's use the first table as our example. We will assume that each row in this table are a record. And since that we have our ticket table, table here, okay, we are assuming that this ticket number will be the primary key for this table. In order for us to achieve second normal form, this needs to have data. Okay. Each field of this row should have data. And it should look like this. We have achieved second normal form here because the row of data is referencing to this ticket number. 
So for instance, I want to pull up the record of 10121 ticket number as my reference. When I pull up that, it will appear that that ticket or this ticket number is owned by Curry Dorothy and was dated 11-12-2010. So the database is in third normal form. If and only if it is in second normal form and contains no transitive dependencies. So let's look at this one. This is not in third normal form. Why? Because this code and find column is related to ticket file, but their data should not be part of the ticket file. So in order for us to achieve third normal form, we should separate this two column into another table. And that table is a parking violation code file. So here, we are just relating the parking violations code file to the ticket file table. So code here is our primary and in our ticket file, the code column is a foreign key. So that is how we achieve the third normal form.